Hi there. So when I'm not making these Divi video tutorials, I actually have a advertising and public relations business and we do a fair share of photography and video work. And the other day I was on my company's website and I was looking at my gallery and it pretty much looked like the one you see here. And there's nothing wrong with this gallery. It's very functional. It looks nice. It's clean. The only problem is I sell creativity and I didn't think this was a good representation of what my company does. So I went from having a gallery that looked like this to having one that looks like this. Now let me show you how I did it. All right, so we're gonna start here in the dashboard. So from this screen, let's go to Projects, Add New. I'm gonna give it a name of Headshots. Use the Divi Builder. Now I'm just gonna do all this from this screen. So I will not be going into the Visual Builder. First thing I wanna do is come over here to my column, which is the blue one. So click here on the hamburger menu. I'm going to add my background image. So if you remember from our example, that would be this top image here. So we'll upload an image, which I've already done. So if I hadn't uploaded my images yet, I'd come over here to upload files, select files. But since I've already done it, we're gonna choose this one. And I've actually made this image 1920 by 1080. So I'm gonna set as my background. Then I'm gonna come down here to use parallax effect and I'm gonna choose CSS. Now this is the parallax effect. When I scroll up and down, you'll see that the row below it just scrolls on top of it. All right, so we're gonna save and exit this. Next thing I wanna do is if I wanna put my title in, so I'm gonna hit insert column. I'm gonna make it a full width title. Insert module, and I use the blurb, so for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna use blurb. Give it my title. So we call it headshots. And then we'll give it some text. All right, I want to center it all, so we'll center it. I'm going to leave the text dark. And none, I'm not going to use an icon or anything else, so none of this matters. I won't put a URL, but if I wanted to, I could put URL here. So we'll go to advanced settings. So my, let's go ahead and make my header 28. And we'll leave the rest the same. My background color, I'm gonna give it an orange and then we're gonna make it somewhat opaque. So we'll make it about a 70%, let's say 70%. And then we're gonna use border. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that a darker orange. And then I'm gonna make my border width about three. And then on custom padding, what I wanna do is I wanna put a gap between the text and the border. So we're gonna do a padding of, let's say about 15. Okay, so now that everything is in, we're gonna go ahead and hit save and exit. So let's see what we have here. So that's what we've got so far. And since I don't have a row underneath it, I can't show you the parallax is working, but that's what we have so far. So now let's add another row. So we're going to click here to standard section. Click on that. We're going to add a full width row. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is come over here to our column settings. Scroll down here to custom padding, and we're going to put zeros all the way across. So save and exit that. Now we're going to come here to our row settings, click on the hamburger menu. We want to make it full width. We want to use custom gutter. We want to move this all the way to one. And then again, we want to change the padding here to zeros. So we're going to save and exit this. Now here, insert modules. We're going to insert a gallery. So we'll click on gallery. I'll come back to update gallery. We want it to be a grid. My first gallery, if you recall from the example, had eight photos, so it had two rows of four. So we're gonna put eight. We'll leave this landscape. I do not wanna show the title. I do not want pagination. 
I'm going to name this gallery one because I'm going to have multiple galleries. So then I'm going to come up here to my advanced design settings. Now I like to add a border to my photo galleries depending on your photos you may or may not. So if you like to look without the border then you'll skip this step. Um, for me I feel that especially with portrait photos they don't necessarily go with each other so I like to have the border to separate them. So I'm going to go ahead and use border. I'm going to keep my border colors white. I'm going to make my border three pixels. I'll leave the border style solid. And then we're going to come back up here to general settings and we'll update my gallery. Again, I've already uploaded my photos. And the other thing I've done since most of these photos like this are portrait, I've actually cropped my thumbnails so, so the appropriate portion of the portrait shows in the thumbnails. If you do not know how to do that, I did do a tutorial on a plugin that you can use called Crop Thumbnails. So go ahead and watch that. I'm not going to take the time in this video to show that. So now what I want to do is I want to choose my eight photos. So we're going to choose these first eight here. We'll add it to gallery. That looks good. So we'll go ahead and update the gallery. We're going to save and exit. Let's go ahead and preview it. So this is what we have right now. So you can see the parallax effect here where this row comes over this background image. And you can see the photos are full with the border. Now if I had not turned these two things on, this is what you would get. Which is that standard thumbnail look. But the fact that I had turned these on made it full width and then got rid of the custom gutter. It allows the photos to be larger and to take up the whole screen in the row like this with no, with no gaps in between. All right, so now let's make several more rows. So what I'm gonna do is just duplicate this row here. If you recall from my example, I just put the title in here on the sides. So I'm gonna add a row. I'm going to just choose the one-third, two-third. I'm literally just going to move this blurb here. I'm going to get rid of that. I will come in here and change the copy. Everything else looks good. I'll come back here. We'll change the background color. We'll do this one green. I'll do the same 70%. We'll do the dark. And let's see what the, let's do light text and see what that looks like. Everything else will remain the same. So we'll preview it and see what that looks like. There you go. All right, so then you notice the one thing I didn't do is change out the photo. So let's come over here to the column. Now, when I uploaded my photos, you see how I have this name, photography underscore headshots underscore para underscore one. I named it that for a reason. So when I do a search, if I'm in here and I need to find it, if I want to find all the ones that I'm going to be using for, let's say, the parallax effect, I can type in that word parla and I've got these three. What I also did, as you can see, I named this one the same thing with the number two, this one the same thing with the number three, which allows me from this screen, since they're all named with that kind of the convention, I can just change that number here. I can save it. Let's go ahead and preview it. And you can see that that photo has now been added there. So again, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to duplicate this row. I'm going to move it down here below. Come in here and change the gallery. I'm going to use 12 because I have three rows this time of four photos. I'm going to update my gallery. I'll add to my gallery. Again, if I needed to upload photos, I would. But since I've already done that, I'm going to take the next 12 photos or the 12 photos that I want. So we're going to click 
on all these photos. Now, normally when I upload all this stuff, I will, I will have come over here and changed all this information. Now, for the purposes of this demo, I didn't do that, but normally I would have done that. So you wanna make sure you have your title and all that. So we're gonna go ahead and add to gallery. Now, I don't need these original ones. So let's get rid of the first eight that I had. Let's update the gallery. We'll save and exit. So let's see what this looks like. There you go. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna duplicate this, move it below. We're going to, I'm gonna add a row, because what I wanna do this time is I wanna move my blurb on this side. So we'll come in here again with the settings. We'll change this to headline three. Let's just give it a different amount of text. There we go. So let's go to advanced settings. Let's change the background color. So on this one, we'll make the background yellow, make the border yellow. Since that's going to be light, I want to make sure the text is dark. And we'll go ahead and save and exit that. We're going to duplicate this, move it below, get rid of that. The one thing you notice I didn't do was change my name of the gallery. So I'll do that here. So we'll come in here. So we'll change the name here. Now again, my last row only had eight photos, so we'll just cho choose this to eight. So we'll add to gallery. And again, I'll choose the eight photos I want in the gallery, which is these. Add to gallery down here. And again, I don't want the ones One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all of them. Update gallery. We'll save and exit. We'll go ahead and preview it. So there you go. Now on this case, you can see here, since I have these with white backgrounds, this white doesn't pop. So in that case, I could come down here to my advanced settings, my border color. I could choose if I wanted a different border, I could choose a different border color. And something like that. And the last thing that I forgot to do when I copied this was come over here to my column and update my background, if you recall. I did them all in sequential order, so I can just hit three. We'll go ahead and save that. Go ahead and update. So now when we check it, we'll see that I've got the actual correct picture back there, which I didn't before. So that's how you create a fancier gallery in Divi. If you like this tutorial, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time. Thank you.